Hey, technician, how are you? Oh, shit. Hang on. Hang on, mate. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, crew. Sorry about that. Technician and agent Cal Gibbs, how are you, crew? Yeah, we're just going to do a late afternoon brimfish. Now, remember, not everyone treats fishing as a competition. How's this? Bought myself a pack of the chili bites. Nice bit of warmth when you're cold down by the river, okay? So let's kick back. Is this working? Yeah, it's working. Awesome. Technician and Cal Gibbs, thank you very, very much for coming in, mate. Thank you very much for being in two streams. Okay, let's leave that there. Like that. Excellent. Ah, rightio, so let's just chuck that there. And there. There we go. Great. How have you been, technician? You're still in lockdown, mate? Fuck, I... Still can't get my head around that. The other day when we were down here, right? This is Australian as it gets, fam. I'm fishing off the tailgate on my ute. Hey, Blue Rent. Now, Blue Rent, I'm really sorry about today, mate. You came in and typed something and the bot picked it up. So I'm, I'm really sorry about that, bud. All right, so what are we gonna do, fam? Oh, these are a bit cold. Oh, okay. Yeah, rightio. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. Just send me a message what it was so I, I know what it is. Um, all right, fam, so what I'm doing is I'm going to put the big bait out first. Now, there's been a heap of termites. <laughs> yeah, I did, Lowy. See? Experienced brim fisho. Put the spray... Oh, now that I've touched my forehead. Put the spray on at home. Right? and then wash my hands after. And now I've touched my forehead and it was all to waste, really. These are frozen. Trust me, mate. If I don't put any mosquito spray on my forehead, I'll come back looking like a dartboard. Hey, Sith, how are you, bud? Welcome, everyone. All right, so this is my half hitch rig for like Mulloway and that sort of stuff and the odd big brim that comes in, okay? So let's get this out first. Welcome, Sith. How's it going in Sydney, mate? Good? Oh. That is, people, we've started off today with a really good cast. Ho! Oh. Chili Bites fam, award winning Chili Bites. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's go here. Mmm, mmm. The only way this could get better is if we got a fish on our first cast. Yeah. No. Yeah, mate, I eat, um, I eat a lot of chilli, and um, mm, great. Yeah, I eat a lot of chilli, so. We have a chilli sauce here called the shit the bed chilli sauce. I usually go through a bottle a month, and the butcher's quite funny. Someone will try one in there and just about dying. 
I walk in and they go, yeah, we've got one that's too hot for you now. I went, here you go. And they let me try it and they go, yeah, not bad, and walk out. And they go, here he flosses with it, you know. All right, people, now bait presentation is very important when you fish for brim, okay? Now look at this. See how I've totally concealed the hook? All you can really see is the eye on the hook, right? And even the point is hugging and touching the skin of the uh, muley tail there. You want to make sure you have as little of the hook showing as possible, okay? Now, that's tightened up a bit. Is something having a look at that? Interesting. Nice. Two good casts to start the day, fam. I've got my casting mojo back, as they say in the classics. Excellent. So. Beautiful. So what we'll do is just chill out, famo. So we can do. Lovely. If you're um, fishing for brim in winter and you're cold, nice jacket that doesn't let the wind through. It's got to be windproof. A bit of chilli in the hot coffee. Keep you going all day. With baits and that sort of stuff, fam. <laughs> Thanks, Lolly. <laughs> now, with brim fishing, fam, I've always learnt from a young age, once you've got a bait in the water, leave it. The moment you move it, and the moment it looks unnatural, you're stuffed. Um, some of the biggest brim I've got is where nothing's moved, I've picked the rod up and it's like, shit, I'm on, you know? Mmm. Ah, 230 grams. Uh, Pinky, how are you, mate? Something had a tickle of that big rod. Okay. There was just a very slight bump and then nothing. So either something's gone over the top of it or something's gone in and... Um, mm. That was a good brim that we dropped the other day, fam. Thanks, Stinky. Now, Stinky, I had someone that had a username Pinky Stinky that was banned. That's not your alternative account, is it? Oh, that's great. Nice and hot. Oh, we handed it back, Blue Ren. We got a new boat sponsorship. So, um, what's going to happen is now, um, unfortunately, uh, 
With COVID, WA's okay, but the rest of the world's on its knees. So it's just an issue with supply. And what we're going to start doing is we're going to do start doing like live boating reviews, right? And with the live boating reviews, we're probably, I don't know how many we're going to do. Thanks, Lowy. Thanks, Lowy. Have a good one. Mmm, awesome. Oh, what happened today, Paul? How many people had COVID today, bud? Now, people, I'm streaming with a new stream set up today. So this is a big test for it, okay? 633. Oh, no. Hey, Stinky, can you send me a message about that, please? All right. The email address is in the... Um, description to the channel so just send me an email and i'll have a chat with you bud yeah because i thought stinky pinky was on twitch and was a good guy okay hang on hang on hang on hang on right mm. Six hundred and thirty three have they identified the cause? Six thirty three, that's huge, mate. Unbelievable. Oh, it's a lovely day, fam. We've got a bit of rain over the next couple of days. Oh, pizza making stream coming up again. Going to show you how to make focaccias, pizzas, garlic breads, the whole lot. We're going to feed a football team, famo. When we feed the football team, beautiful. They're African lovebirds, that screech. Joshua Moody, how are you, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Household transmission, big bloody house that fits 633 people in it. Aren't people like I've booked in for the um, I've booked in for the um, the Pfizer vaccine, right? Um, so with the Pfizer vaccine, apparently that's a bit better than the AstraZeneca. So yeah. I hope everyone's well, fam. This COVID is serious. Don't laugh it off, right? COVID is serious, fam. Eh? You've just got to be make sure that you just got to, you know, oh, it's just very, very serious. AstraZeneca tomorrow. How are you? Oh, right. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Darwin. Oh, sorry. It's just AstralisTV at gmail.com. Stinky. So just send me an email, but I'd greatly appreciate it, mate. Now, people, I've got some really good um, YouTube content coming up. It's going to start about the second or third week of August, depending on the weather. If the weather dies down a bit, it's probably going to be about September. 
but I've got the bug again for um, the streaming. Okay, the partnership gets handed back to Twitch on the 23rd of December, okay, which I knew was going to happen anyway, and I'm glad that it's actually happening. Right, so, you know... This is good. I think most of those baits are still defrosting. The small bait will defrost quicker than the big bait. And um, it'll be okay. Now, let's try something a bit different here. Let's try that. Okay, so the stream hasn't dropped out at all. Excellent. And look, thanks, people. Thanks for tuning in. We're doing the same content that we did on Twitch. Okay. And, um, you know, it's just great to see so many people from the old platform in here. Um, all right. Great. Great. Brilliant. Let me just check if it's charging. Wow, it's even charging. Great. <laughs> the Twitch streamer, though, the, the streamer formerly known as Australis Fishing. No. How are you, brother Pugs? Mate, I, um, I can't do a shout out, Pugs. Okay, so, you know. Brother Pugs, I've been playing, um, I've been playing on that PS5 on ultimate uh, level in squad battles. My record is one and 10. So one win and 10 losses. Okay, but uh, I tell you what, the old reflexes, you're out okay with, Without one, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, mate, but it's just nice to support the people that have supported me, Pugs. So, yeah, fam, oh, look, um, we've got a heap of stuff turning up on YouTube. Since I've gone to YouTube, so many doors have opened, and um, we've got three weekly streams planned in the area. I've got a heap of other content that I'm taking to um, really Pugzilla. Just close your eyes and use the force and be thankful that you're going to the light side and leaving the dark side, Pugs. It's brilliant. So, um, yeah, that PlayStation controller is awesome. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> but when you six one down after 15 minutes on Ultimate, they all suck, you know? Radio fam now. Over on the other side of the river, it looks like it's raining, okay? But it's actually not raining, it's an insect. I can't remember which one it is at the moment, but that's a good sign. Okay, that shows that the water's really nicely aerated and nice and fresh as well. Well, Pugs, what we have in this river, this is a saltwater section of river. I've never caught trout here or anything, right? Um, <laughs> nah, Blue Wren. Look, mate, um, I was playing a team that was like 94 rated with 100 chem, and my team was only 89 and 100. But um, sort of the worst I've lost in ultimate level on squad battles is 9-1. And then you've got to really change your um, gameplay. I'm just learning all the angles, like where to shoot from and where to pass to and where to move to. But my go like the thing is, um, thank you, Pugs. Hey, Takashi, how are you, mate? Great to see you. 
But I have got a Carlisle United career mode that I've started. One of our community members has um, some kids um, that like watching me do the gaming. Um, and I promised them that I'd start doing a career mode. We've only had about 50 views on it, but that's okay. And um, what I've done is I've figured out that with uh, the career mode, you can get really good... Thank you, Stinky. You can get really good... Um, free agents at every stage of promotion so um i did i bought some free agents on um like i've, I've managed to reach the championship with carlisle and i'm just editing the videos and uh scott jacko how are you bud great to see you mate yeah good and i've been editing the videos so that i can put them into um the scheduling for youtube because uh, I keep getting told you should only really do one upload a day, but FIFA 22 is due in about 50 or 60 days, and I've probably got about that many episodes coming through. So I just played Reading in the first game of the championship season with the team that I've built up from my youth academy and free agents, and we pumped them 4-1, you know? So, yeah. But... um. You know, you get your ass kicked on ultimate level on squad battles, you go down to world class and you win like 16 nil, you know? It's just that, that extra, that really, that you've got to react to, you know what I mean? Massive learning curve, but the reason why I want to do that is um, when 22 comes out, I want to do a career mode and I want to try and see if I can... Um, I mean, I'm an old codger, fellas, you know. I was 49 when I had my first win on PUBG, you know. So, and gaming, if you're not toxic, is good, clean, harmless fun. Okay? All these mozzies. No, technician, I actually got offered one of the first 50 PS5s in the area, but knocked it back because I couldn't afford it. And then I just put my money away and then eventually got it. But what I've got is I've actually got a um, retro arcade console. I'm going to do a comparison between the PS5 and the retro arcade console, mate. They have pros and cons for both... Um, both like, uh, I suppose they're both consoles, really. And, um, yeah, so... Yeah, it is, Jacko. It's just uh, sort of run by one of the world's most unpopular companies, mate. And, look, people, to be quite frank with you, the gameplay for gaming hasn't improved since the 80s. All they're really worried about is presentation, which is how the world is, you know? So, a lot of the uh, games from the 80s, lots of, like, quite clunky and mechanical, but at least the game... The gaming side of it was true, you know? So. <sighs> okay, come on. Take it. Hang on, fam. That just had a nudge. Come on. Seriously, it's like throwing a tennis ball to a puppy sometimes with brim. Come on. That day we got smoked by the shark or the mulloway or whatever it was in here. Oh, man. I was so frustrated. Yes, Thycroft. Oh, really... Brado, how are you, mate? Good to see you. Are oh, you, yeah, Scotty? Well, if you go to... Um, I think you were the one that told me, weren't you, at Twitch, when you bought the um, Game On console or whatever it was, and it didn't work and you had to take it back. 1,526 games, and you can actually drop it straight into a old pinball machine or whatever, you know? So I actually covered myself in air guard before I came here, and I'm still getting eaten. I need to go and drink some of that Indian tonic water, mate. They hate it. Yeah. 
Hey, Paul, yeah, why not, mate? Look, let's let's build it up with IRL for a while, and then we'll do some chess streams, you know? you got to remember, unlike a lot of um, streamers and that sort of stuff, um, you know, I'm all for the community, mate. And, um, you know, I, I just want to get partnered. See, with YouTube, YouTube's different to Twitch. With, oh, yeah, come on. Excuse me. YouTube's different to Twitch. With YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers before you can live streaming. Oh, they do. Thanks, Bretta. Um, you need to have a thousand subscribers before you can live stream on YouTube, right? And then you need 4,000 hours in 12 months of your videos and VODs being watched. Okay? And I'm a large target, Paul. Look at me. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm, like I'm a rake. Bloody mozzies. Great, so that's going up. 8,000 kilobits per second. The frame rate per second is good. And look, people, thank you very, very much. 16 people in here watching a YouTube live stream. Much respect, okay? Um, we've got mosquitoes down south that are that big. They sound like little airplanes. And you hear me, and it goes, mm, and someone goes, oh, that hurt, you know? And that's when we go marining. So, <laughs> wow. I've got some marining spots down south, fam. I can't get reception, though. And um, you'll go up to the edge of the water, and it'll have, like, uh, tea trees. And the roots of the tea trees are so overgrown, they go out in the water... You put the camera on there, you hit it with the spotlight. There's about 200 marin just looking at you in the river and they just slowly lower themselves into the tea tree roots like something out of a horror movie. You know what I mean? Fantastic content. And that's not too far away, okay? Yeah, but I only go in there... Um, what is it? I only probably go once or twice a season because uh, apparently we're down to about 17% of the biomass that we had from the 80s, uh, Jordan. So, you know, and hope you and your wife are going well, Jordan. Jacko, marin are one of the top seven delicacies in the world. That's why so many people pinch them. And even the um, druggies in the country use marin as a form of currency, as I was told by a friend of mine who's a copper. So, yeah. Oh, but that's how they do it, technician, you know? And then, um, and the way it works, right, is when you first start uploading, you'll get uploaded in, what is it? Is it 540 pixels? It's a lower rate. When you get partnered on YouTube, bang, straight up in 1080p, and you go higher up the list, you know? So I think it's one of the few platforms, purely and solely, because not that many people are doing live streaming on it, where you do get rewarded for effort, you know. Oh, congratulations, mate. That's glad to hear that you've, you, yeah, you know, that's glad, glad to hear that, Jordan. Um, well, Jacko, there's always, they always find a way, don't they, mate? Um, you know, and like if you're out in the bush and you come across like Sulo bins that are out in the bush, turn around and go straight back to your car because you know what's happening there, you know? And um, it's just, um, yeah, there's, yeah, when you go remote, you're on your own, mate. I mean, when I was younger and, you know, in those days, it was a lot more lenient. My dad had give me the 22 rifle to take fishing with me. So I'd have the rifle on my back. Um, I'd have the rifle on my back. And then um, I'd have the fishing rod in that hand. And, like, normally you see kangaroos and that sort of stuff, and you'll see their heads. But when you see stuff moving and you don't see a head bobbing, you know it's a pig or something like that. And, I mean, you're not going to do any damage to a pig with a 22, but if you pop a shot into the air, they usually run off, you know, unless it's a sow with piglets and that sort of stuff, so. 
Yeah, thanks, Paul. Did you? Oh, okay, yeah. Mate, I've got to be really careful because when I take the flu shot, it knocks me on my ass for about four days. So I don't know how it's going to go with this. Um, I don't know how it's going to go, mate, because any injection like that just gets me, okay? And because I've had heart surgery and that sort of stuff, I get the injection for free. So they want me to be on it, you know? This is the same rod and reel that I caught that little yellow fin tuna on fam in the boat when we had it. So. <laughs> oh, Jacko, you're in New South too, aren't you, mate? Excuse me. Mm. Interesting. Oh, did they, Paul? Timmy Healy, how are you, mate? Really? Yeah, but you get the, you've got the big, big ones over there, Brad. Like, um, I think the biggest one I've seen was down in a town down south called Northcliffe. One of the guys I knew from Depot there, it was calm back then. Um, they caught a pig, a wild pig in some of their traps and it was about 190 kilos, they guessed. And um, yeah, they eat everything, mate. If it's on the ground, they'll eat it. Snakes, the whole lot, you know. Little invertebrates, frogs, anything, mate. I should really put jeans on when I come out of here. Get out of it. But that'll be too hot. Yeah, I know, Timmy. I remember, mate. It's just probably a good idea not to put your username out there, you know? So, <laughs> just saying. And look, people, thanks for giving up your time to come in and watch. I just thought I'd come down. I've been doing a lot of testing of equipment. And look, if you're a, um, if you're a streamer out there that wants to do IRL, don't get sucked into buying a backpack. You don't need one. Right? You can get just as good, if not better, streams out of a phone. Thanks, Timmy. This is when we went to Caratha, remember? Only, unfortunately, now I'm sort of filling it out a lot more than what I did last year, sort of post-COVID. Seriously, people, when we had all that COVID stuff, it was so hard to try and keep fit. And then trying to get back into the fitness again, it's just terrible, you know? And so many people you see on the news and even on YouTube and that, where they're just getting busted for COVID and they're meant to be following rules, you know what I'm saying? So that's tough. Oh, thank you, Tim. That's right, Paul. Yeah, it's good, matey. What we did is we adopted a turtle, so on behalf of the community... <laughs> Timmy, how are you, mate? Two Tims in here. How are you, mate? What's going on? Welcome. Now I've hit the big time. Timmy Kent's in here. So... <laughs> uh. I'll catch up with you next week at work, mate, with that fly gear, eh? Oh. <laughs> Good to see you, Timmy. How you going, bud? Johnny Bear, how are you, mate? Mate, you've been making me laugh my head off in Shook streams recently, bud. I'm pretty sure it was you or Bobby Belcher that typed some of the comments. Laugh. Poor Potsy's getting hammered. You know, he's just absolutely getting hammered. 
Yo, I did, Timmy. I'll tell you about it later. We're going to be fishing with the Geordie Fly live on stream soon because it's a winner. Oh, Timmy, it's a winner. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more, bud. But that fly that we did with the red tail, the red throat, the red body, and the black and white spots from the guinea fowl, whoo, sensational. Oh, it was good. All right, so we just had a brim that I've spooked there. Good one, Jim, you bowling ball head. Right, let's go. Come on, guys. Yeah. No, mate. Um, this is early spring, late winter, so it's very hit and miss. We had a couple of good hits late, and I've just realised that we're at low tide. You will have more chance of a fish at high tide, but um, I've been doing all the experimentation with all the equipment and getting that right. So since we've left the other platform, people, um, you know, we've got the generator, we've got work lights, I've got a new modem, um, we've updated the phones. Sensei. <laughs> oh, mate, remember... Oh. Does everybody know Bruce McAvaney's greatest regret, regret? Debbie Flintoff, king at the Olympics, mate, when he called a second and she won. Oh, Bruce. Bruce, the backlash, Bruce. Bruce McAvaney is a commentating legend, mate. Right. <laughs> yeah, it is... Um, it is pinky. Um, what happened was, with all the upgrades to 5G, apparently it started happening well before 5G was... Oh, haven't you, Johnny? Mate, it helps everyone's looks, you know? Don't worry, it's not just him. Yeah, drinking's a great way to go broke, Johnny, and kill yourself slowly, mate. Just uh, in everything in moderation, you know? Because if you start hitting the turps, I mean, drinking and smoking is an expensive hobby nowadays, fam. In the old days, you know what I mean? Like some places, it's $10 for a boutique beer, you know? And if people start getting sloshed, you know what I mean? Like, oh God, really? Oh, it is, mate. And it's good to see that you're making the decisions and putting practices in place to improve your life, John. That's good, mate. Well done. 10 out of 10. No, nah, technician, I don't use 5G. You still use 4G. 5G, mate... The reason why 5G has so much coverage is 5G is in all the metropolitan cities. So you have highly populated and densely populated areas. That's why 5G, oh, we cover most of the country's population, right? To stream, you only use 4G, right? You don't use 5G, you only use 4G. And 3G does not give you enough signal to download, and 2G is old news anyway, so... This is fishing, fam. It's a waiting game. You prepare everything, chuck it in there. If the water was a bit clearer, I'd be fishing with lures, but it's not. So I'd be just flicking around little soft plastics, you know? Vault, how are you, mate? Yeah, pretty quiet, but it's still fairly early season. That's why they call it a habit, Johnny, because it reminds with habit. Because once you have it, it's very hard to get rid of it, mate, you know? We need to come down here and do a night fish with the lights. Especially when there's, you know, especially when there's a um, high tide around midnight into that early morning when it's still good time to do a night fish in the river. Uh, I'm just going to try and get permission off a couple of farmers to do some fishing on their property so no one else can go into the spots. 
you know. Yeah, just stick with 4G, Jacko. Don't use 5G. So when you get your modem, adjust the settings so it only tunes into 4G. Oh, that's exactly right, Tim. And have you noticed the quality of the stream compared to the old platform? It's unbelievable. I was absolutely shocked the other day. Um, I was just absolutely shocked as to the quality of the stream, my friend. It was just beautiful. You know, pretty to watch, as Bruce used to say back in the day. Yeah, LTE is 4G in Australia. Um, that's how it works in um, America, Vault, and some parts of Europe. And on those places, the farmers or people can even put ladders to get over the fence. So, yeah, but you still can't just drive up to someone's property like you own it. Do you know what I mean? Because it is still their property, you know what I mean? But if you're in Crown land, because every single river has a riparian corridor. It's called a riparian corridor. It goes back a certain way from the river. And apparently that's meant to be an all access area, you know? Sometimes, Timmy, but not here. Yeah, it is, John. The algorithm for streaming is much better. So um, it's just, uh, I don't know the best way to describe it. Let's drop this down. But if you look at the colors in that here compared um, you know, of the different grasses that, you can just sort of look at it and you can differentiate. Whereas on the old platform, it was quite almost bland in comparison, you know? The biggest shark I've seen in here at the peak of summer was about eight foot. I thought it was a dolphin, but it was a river whaler. Eight foot, people. Huge. Oh, we're on. We're on. That's a bite. Is it or not? No, nah, that was a hit, fam. That was a hit. And that wasn't a brim. Let's have a look what it was. Okay, see that there? Oh, it is pinky. So what it's done is it's bitten the stomach out of that. Okay? And you can, that was a big brim. No, actually. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get that back in there. Hang on a second, yeah? I'm going to get that back in there. Hang on. Right, we know there's a brim out there, fam, right? It's got the taste for... It's got the taste for the muley, or the pilchard, as we call it. The little one's out here. Okay, so that's come inside onto the fish and gone chomp on the stomach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit more slack and this time I want it to pick the bait up and go for a long swim with it and then I'm going to try and hook it like that. So basically our bait's over here. The bow of the line is about 20 feet to the right. So if that straightens, the fish will turn first then straighten and that'll give it enough time to set the hook on itself. So let's just do that nice and steady, which is a bit of a dog act, but this is fishing, you know, so... No, we don't get that many flathead in the west uh, coast of Australia, Bradda. Oh, that's right, John. 
No, nah, not Taylor, mate. Taylor will usually hit the brim, even silver brim when you go out in the ocean. If you've got a muley and you have this big hit and it doesn't hook up, you bring it in and there's like a big semicircle on the guts. That's usually a silver brim. The brim in the rivers are much the same, mate. I think it's just a trait of the species. Um, I've got a spot on the Blackwood River in Augusta where you catch snapper and black brim at the same time. So, what I might do is just zoom in a bit, fam. Let's see how we go with that. That's okay. At least we know they're there because um, this time of year, you don't know where they are. You know, you don't know how much of this, you don't know how saline it is here. So we're only about, I think where we are here, about 35 to 37 k's from Collie. And um, yeah, it's all good fun, you know. Rightio. Thanks, people. 22 viewers. That's awesome. Let's try and get most of the uh, river in there and not the car. That's a bit better, I think. There you go, fam. Um, and crew, if you haven't had a chance to see it, Scott, Jacko, you can open big, you can fish Big Brook Dam all year, mate. I've lost count of how many fish I've caught out of Big Brook. All right. This is starting to move. They're more interested in the big bait than the, um, the little bait, really. Yep, there's something that's bubbling in the water over there. Well, they must be in here. When the water's still discolored like this, I like to use baits early on just to see what's there, right? I need to drink some Indian tonic water, I think. Ah, <sighs> uh, no, Jacko, what happens there is, um, it's the overflow to Big Brook Dam because it's a brook in there. You can actually fish the main part of the dam all year round. I did a um, little segment on Big Brook and look, people, if there's anyone in here that hasn't, um, if there's anyone in here that hasn't um, seen the little segment I did on Big Brook, please go and check it out. I drove down especially to, um, hey, Donald, how are you, bud? How's life treating you? How's sunny Edinburgh, buddy? Um, so, yeah, if you check out the Big Brook clip, and um, a lot of water in there at the moment, so it's good. We've had a good winter. It's going to be a good freshwater season, fam. Just excuse me for a second. Oh, excellent. Thanks, Jacko. I shouldn't have asked that question. Sorry, mate. Oh, nice one. Ah, uh, no, technician, nah, it's, it's, Big Brook's actually not a very, oh, that's what I was gonna tell you. Thanks for triggering the memory. Apparently someone's let carp go in Wellington Dam. And um, if that's the case, I'm gonna try and fish for them with bread flies, so.
That bait on the left there hasn't been touched, fam. So, you know, you would think that we would get hit on that one. But one thing I've noticed with a lot of really big brim, big brim will always hit the guts of a big muley, you know? And thanks people, 22 people watching, that's awesome. Yeah, they fight like steam trains. Oh, nice one, Jordan. Is it Wellington or the other one? No, I'm pretty sure it's Wellington. Come on. Oh, they are, Jacko. <laughs> I think that Charlie carp is a great idea for carp bait, that fertiliser, but in Europe they're quite a revered species, you know, so. What are they? They're not cormorants, are they? I hope not. They are too. That's bad. That's a flock of about 40 cormorants, fam. Awesome, descending on the river at once. Nice. Mozzies are always rife, mate. Soon as you hear the crickets and the frogs, you know that there it's time that everything's shutting down. Just got to be careful, fam, because this is when the um, snakes come out in the afternoon, especially tiger snakes, you know? Got to worry about them. Yeah, that's exactly right, Vault. They've had a, they've got a fishing culture that goes back hundreds of years, you know? And, um,. Yeah, the tactics that they use are pretty specialised. There's a place in Perth that does it. I was going to go and... Um... Yeah, Jacko. Oh, hello. What was that? Hang on. Was that a dolphin? Something just hit something on the surface, fam. Was that a dolphin or a shark? I'd be very surprised. Mind you, if you're going to get a hit from a brim... You'll get a hit from a mulloway in here or something like that, or even the sharks. I mean, they can tolerate fairly fresh water, the old bullies. Yeah, I don't fish for sharks, Cal Gibbs, but, you know, if you've got a muley in the water in a river in Australia, you may have got a chance of catching one, haven't you? There's one guy down here that uses spleen. He gets from the butcher and that, and he fishes for sharks and hooks them all the time. It's going to be a while before the next bite too, Fermo. I'm astounded as to the quality of this picture, Fem. That is awesome. 
That is awesome. Look at the difference in the grasses and everything. Look at it. Hang on, let's just get this right. That's a bit better. Look at that. Unbelievable. Oh, me too, Cal. Remember when we had that 10-foot tiger shark? Oh, I wasn't going to get in the water to find out. That 10-foot shark, tiger shark near the boat that time? Tested the tiger shark? It was much more beneficial to the community to look at the shark than try and catch it, you know? Should get a little bit of a sunset in soon, fam. <laughs> Come on. Can't wait to go down to Augusta again, I'm telling you. Yeah, me too, Cal. I love sharks. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I will eat like the odd gummy shark, but they're a school shark. Oh, Paul, yeah, I did, mate, but the storm blew it over. Couldn't believe it. We got everything right, and then this storm last week where everything was swirling. <sighs> okay, so what was that hitting just under the surface over there? Yeah, when we go down to the Blackwood River, fam, then you're going to see some brim fishing. So, um, remember when we went down there last time and what did we get, 45 brim in about three hours on fly? Oh, that's life, Paul. That's what you've got insurance for, you know? So, one thing I learned a long time ago, mate, the only person's actions you can control are your own. You know what I mean? We've got a heap of movement under a snag over there, fam. I don't think it's a bird. Yeah, that looks like a fish just under the surface. Wow. Oh, it might be sea mullet, actually. Oh, it certainly is, Paul. And I mean, Mother Nature's Mother Nature, mate. You don't muck around with much of Mother Nature because it does what it wants, you know. Isn't it nice to have a stream without sound alerts and without, like, you know, having to worry about subs and all that sort of stuff, crew? Isn't it so much nicer? You know what I mean? Just nice and chilled and relaxed. There we go. A little bit of afternoon sunlight. Good work. Let's just sit back and appreciate what we have, eh? It's the only bit I missed. If you're in a situation like this where the light... Oh, that's it, Donald. You can hear all the wildlife. There's a bit of 
like traffic and that, but you get that everywhere in Australia, you know. Let's just change this around. There we go, look at that fam, little bit of sunlight coming through the trees, nice and steady. Timmy, you're drunk, that's not the video, okay? Calm down. Oh, it's unbelievable, look at this. It's so much better. Look at the difference in the hues of the light and that sort of stuff as we sort of catch this afternoon sun over the water there, you know what I mean? Look at that. Oh, that's right, Paul. And you know the other thing that I've done, okay? Um, one thing I've done since I've gone back and every once in a while I have a look at Twitch, you know? I mean, I'm just getting sick of watching streamers, you know, always claiming they're poor. You know what I mean? And then you just think, mate, really? You know, no one asked anyone to stream. That's their choice. And um, <laughs> laugh. Oh, mate. I just feel, I feel really sorry for their communities. I mean, you look at Shook. Shook actually puts his money back into the community with what he does to provide the content, which is fair, you know? But a lot of others, oh, I'm so broke, I'm so this. Oh, really? Okay, so why are you spending all this new money on gear, you know? So. There you go, that's a bit better, look at that. Look at that beautiful sunset. Look at that, beautiful sunset. Look at it, lovely, lovely. This time of day, right, if you're fishing with soft plastics, what you need to do is when you're fishing, oh, Jacko, you know, like one streamer that I know was, um, I'm not gonna, uh, they, right, they were, they put up, they put up a donation goal for their car, Rego, and then they bragged how they paid for their tickets to PAX. So I was, sorry? Pay your car, Rego, then worry about PAX, you know, like, and they got caught out on it and didn't like it, you know what I mean? Really? Now, fam, see this in the afternoon? If you're fishing with soft plastics or lures, have a variety of colours. Have like a black or a brown lure, green, blue, yellow, orange, red, whatever. That way, when you've got a change in the light in a waterway like this, change the colour of your lures to sort of match the hues of the water. So if I was fishing with soft plastics, I'd be using a red head with a white body or a yellow fluorescent lure in these sort of light conditions. Okay? On a... Um, on a dark day when it's overcast, I'd be using like uh, black lures, brown lures, green, even blue, believe it or not, because blue can be seen right down. And um, yeah, you've just got to match your, like mix your gear up so um, to sort of match the conditions you're fishing, you know? And if we are going to get a decent fish, even though it's low tide, so probably not as decent, but um, it's usually just before dark, Right, or first thing in the morning? Did he? But Johnny, years ago on Twitch, there was a streamer that had a house bought for them and then they left Twitch in America. I think it was Los Angeles or something. She put up a donation goal for a house and someone honoured it. You know? In the old days of Twitch, you needed 200 concurrent viewers to get partnered, not 75. And um, a lot of the ones that were on the platform early did quite well out of it. And uh, yeah, there's been donation goals for houses, cars, all sorts of stuff. Well, Pinky, the thing is, you don't have to donate, mate, but, you know, um, the one thing that I really find nauseating is when they try and justify it. 
and um, you know, and just the fake thanks they give when they know that they're cashing in. Do you know what I mean? They put on their special little voices, and you know. Uh, I was watching a gaming stream the other day, and I went. Someone messaged me and said, "Check this out," and I went, "What?" Block. You know. What was that? Beautiful afternoon. That's right. <laughs> Good luck to her, mate. Yeah, I mean, there's always people trying to promote bigger and better and trying to reinvent the wheel, um, Pinky. But unless they've got the runs on the board, mate, don't listen to them, you know. And thank you, people. 21 viewers watching. It's awesome. Such an idyllic setting. I don't want to spoil it by being in your uh, view, people. Do do do. <sighs> Thanks for the support, Feb. I'll tell you what, I'm happier streaming in front of 20 people on YouTube than I don't know how many hundreds on Twitch. Not being rude to the Twitch community. But just the no pressure. And look, when we do get partnered, please just watch the ads because we'll make revenue from big corporations. Almost like masters taking over Bunnings who took over Mitre 10. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but Pinky, there's temptation in all aspects of life, mate. Through maturity, you tend to know when to pick it and to avoid it. I just feel sorry. There's a lot of people in the world that have problems, right? There's a lot of people that have social anxiety and that sort of stuff. And if they can go onto a like stream and throw money at someone and get a recognition of it, that's a lot for them, you know? But unfortunately, it tends to become a bit of a drug. And it's actually a condition fam, okay? When people stream like what we're doing now, it's actually called a parasocial relationship. So if you wanna Google that, Google parasocial relationship, right? Narcissists thrive on parasocial relationships, right? Absolutely thrive on it, okay? And a lot of the people that have that personality trait, right, uh, stream. You can pick it a mile off, you know? So... Yeah, that's right, Pinky, you know what I mean? So you just got to be able to try and pick it, mate. And the problem is, like, you know... When you've got like two guys that are going for the same girl and they've been friends for 20 years and then one gets the girl, the other one doesn't, they spit it with each other and then the guy breaks up with her after a couple of years or whatever, that's always, that's embedded in society, mate, right? That is embedded in society. That's how life works, okay? So, you know, just one of those things, pal. You know what I mean? And the good thing on here is, you know, there's no donation goal. You don't have to sub or anything like that. There's no cheers or anything. And it's just chill out, enjoy the stream, and enjoy the content. You know, you might have a few ads later on, but that's how life goes. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, 
You're right, Pinky. In a roundabout sort of way, it is, mate. I'll tell you what, I won't sullen your experience and impact your viewing. I'll get out of your way. Oh, <laughs> tell you what, let me remove the confusion. All right, here we go. There you go, fam. It's a beautiful thing about Australia. There's so much bird life too. In the next week, fam, we're gonna go out and I'm gonna show you my nighttime fishing setup. We'll take the generator out, the work lights. I've got all the new equipment to get signal. Apparently I can now get signal. As long as I've got line of sight of a tower from 30 or 40 Ks away, I should be able to get Wi-Fi. That's what I've been told. I have tested it. It hasn't failed yet, but unless you go to the more remote areas, you don't know, do you? Okay. Right, that line's starting to waver a bit, so something might be having a look at that. Ads, it is. How are you, Ads? How's uh, South Australia going, buddy? 57 years young. Timmy. 240 volt, 2 kVA. Technician, if you go to... Uh, I did a review on it. If you, if you type in power tech on Australis TV... I did a few review on it. Teltonica, nah, don't get those, buddy. Look, mate, as much as I hate Telstra, right, there's a new Netgear modem called an MG5, right? So when you use it, take the battery out of it and run it off a power pack. That stops it from overheating, see? All right, and with Telstra now, they've got a 400 gig plan. Life's great. Okay, yeah, don't get to Tonica, tell Tonica, mate. And don't get the LTE one. They're a total waste of time and you can't use them without the battery. So what you do is, right, take the battery out, right, run it from an external supply and then that way, the biggest problem with streaming, <laughs> no, I didn't get, not my birthday, mate. The biggest problem with um, streaming, no electrical equipment is designed for Australian heat. So heat's your biggest killer. Right? <laughs> oh, you're welcome, technician. That, that, um, that generator is only $699. Equivalent Yamaha or um, Honda is over a couple of grand, but they're a top quality product. A friend of mine still got his Yamaha from, you know, school 40 years ago. And it still works, you know? I've got a feeling we might get one more big hit just, just as the sun drops down below the trees, fam, and it starts to like uh, um, darken off a bit. We should get another hit, provided nothing sort of, uh, you know. Chinese hunters. <laughs> Fraser, mate. Go right up to the top ads and go and chase some really big fish.
It's like anything, Scott. You know, if you look after your gear, it looks after you. And I mean, if you're going to go remote, the last thing you want to do is bloody, you know, stuff around your generator. We've still got a bit of more water movement heading towards the ocean, fam. So it's still emptying out. That's the deepest part of the river right over there on the other side. Here's very shallow. It's a little creek bed here that comes in, so, you know. And it runs a little welder, really, technician? Okay, that's interesting. The reason why we got the generator is um, I've got two, I've got, I don't want to sound like an asshole bragging, but um, I've got a really good setup for night fishing now, fam. We're going to literally be able to turn night into day. So I can put one of my, I can put the generator like on the board off the sand in here. I can run cords to two lights and this can turn into day like seriously and the other thing is too the globes that i'm using are filament so they don't flicker like led because with led you've got an issue with um like the flickering and that sort of stuff with the other stuff it tends to um it tends to um you know work quite well and it's like a it's a filament so it heats up and it's consistent uh not really mate yeah, I'm going to, Benton. I've got it all sorted out, mate. Usually the best time to go squidding is on the full moon cycle. So we've got that already booked in. And, uh, yeah, we'll be right. Yeah, nah, bragging's not good, mate. That's just silly, you know. Is everybody happy with the quality of the stream in terms of... Um, you know, the contrast and is it clear enough? Like, can you just tell me on your screen where you're watching, is it 1080p or is it 720p? So what's this in? Quality auto 480p, no. Ten eighty. Oh, that's awesome, people. That's good. That's a good sign. Because apparently with YouTube, one of the things that happens is when you're first starting out, it'll upload your video and it could take up to 10 minutes, right? But the more you upload and the more the algorithm recognises you, it takes less time to upload and it's usually a higher quality. But with live streaming, it's meant to be like, meant to be stored in 1080, you know? So... If I can get reception at this one beach down south, fam, I can remember as a kid, people fishing there, laying on the ground with their feet dug in the sand, holding onto a rod with like 50 pound mono from the old days and getting dragged in the water by fish, you know? If we can get reception there, it'll be great. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Johnny, sorry about that, mate. I've incorporated the Streamlabs bot onto this. And it does pick up things. I'm very sorry about that, mate. High quality picture, 720. Okay. Watching virtual reality. Really? No. Yeah, it is, Johnny. Sorry, mate. I've actually upgraded my resolution to 1080. That's brilliant. Huh? Ah. 
We actually don't have crows in Australia, we have ravens. G'day mate. Horrible things they can be, especially at lambing time. <laughs> There's a little fish that's getting chased by something just here, fam. I have no idea what it is. Check this out. Right here he is. It's just in the water, leaping out of the water. Check it out. Just down there, check it out. It's probably going to leap again. Something's chasing it from underneath. Look how clear that is. That is unbelievable. It was a little, po uh, it was a little um, bony brim, we call them here in WA. See how that line, can you see that line starting to quiver? That usually means there's a fish having a look at it. See how that line was just starting to quiver? As I try not to fall down and break my face. Look at that for a beautiful river setting, fam. Check that out. Look at that up down river. Look at that. Look at the clarity of this. Unbelievable. Look at it. I mean, even here, you can differentiate anything. You see the different types of grasses, everything, you know? Wow. <sighs> what P, how are you, mate? Thank you, Blue Wren. But Donald, you can do that on here. Okay, not just yet. Look, if you're thinking of streaming, famo, Right? Just get a Samsung Ultra Note 20, but don't get the, tw sorry, don't get the 21, wait for the 22 to come out. Oh, it is, John. And this is what we're gonna be streaming all year, fam. We're gonna do a beach stream soon, go back to basics, the old beach stream. Now, what I've done, famo, is I went out and bought a Calcutta 700. We're gonna do a stream showing people the difference between fishing with threadline reels or egg beaters or fixed balls as they're called and overheads. I'm gonna show you a few little techniques just to um, help you out with how to use it and that sort of stuff, right? Jigsaw, how are you bud? Oh yeah, look people, we're not treating fishing as a competition fam, you know. Um, I mean we caught and released over 1,500 fish last year and uh, I think we only kept about 15 or 20 in the whole year and they were just like skippy and herring and that. Yeah, something's having a look at that fam. Now what I'm doing is because I'm older and I've stuffed it up so many times before, I've learnt to like let it go, just leave it, or come on, as he says that it straightens, right? So, This is, a, this is uniquely Australian fishing fam. We've reversed up to the spot. We've got the tailgate of the ute down. It's all good. What's that out in the middle over there? Hey, Twist, what's going on? How are you, Tristan? Look, people, after um, I left the old platform, I sat down and thought, right, where are we going to go with this? You've got all these people that have supported you for three years, so I was not going to turn my back on anyone. I'm in here for the long haul fam, right? So what I did is I upgraded the equipment, right? And um, Twist, welcome buddy, great to see you in here, mate. And I upgraded equipment, okay, so that we can provide a better quality stream. And that's what we're doing. 
Okay, so a big shout out to our sponsors, Millard Marine, Qualia Reels, which we use exclusively on the channel. The only reason we've got the Calcutta 700 is Qualia don't make a reel that you can cast. And of course, one of the biggest uh, reasons, <laughs> one of the biggest reasons why our streaming has improved is because of Rode microphones. And if you're serious about streaming, just get Rode microphones, fam. All right? They are a good Australian company, right? And they're top notch, okay? And as you can tell, I mean, I could walk about 80 yards that way, you'd still hear me, okay? As we did on that Rode microphone test. I think I've got a YouTube snippet on it somewhere. Right. As we call this in fishing, this is the witching hour, right? So. Come on, I've given you enough slack to set the hook, whatever you are. Well, we had one hit, that's a good start. Hey, Subtract, hey, Subtract, how are you, bud? Probably all of them, Pinky. Alex, how are you, mate? It certainly is. What's going on, bud? Dimensions, how are you? Very quiet, mate. Early season, late winter, early spring. Well, it's not really spring yet, but, you know. So, uh, all good. How are you, Subtract? Oh, can't wait till we do our, fi our beach fishing streams again, Famo. We're going to get bad weather for the next couple of days. Well, mate, I'm sorry to hear that you've had a bad day, Tristan, and I'm hoping that you can just chill out with us. No pressure, all right? There's no expectations on anyone in this stream, mate. Just pop in, enjoy it, and, you know, just chill out with us, mate, okay? And, I mean, look, people, the aim on YouTube is to get partnered, right? So, you know... Eventually, it's going to get to the stage where you're going to have to watch videos. Please watch the videos because that's how the channel will get monetized and you don't have to put it into your own hand, into your own pocket to support it like that, okay? So whenever that happens, it happens. I think we've got about another 10 minutes of light, fam. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, technician. There's people that live for it, okay? Yeah, me too, Ads, but I don't know, mate. You know, like, uh, oh, yeah, there's a dolphin coming up the river. Oh, that's the end of this. Must be a dolphin. If not, it's a big tiger. Uh, not tiger. Big uh, bull shark. All right. Let me put this away. And thanks, people. It's really good of you to give up your time to come in and watch. I really appreciate it, you know.
Oh dear. Yeah, I have jigs a lot. Lowy, how are you, mate? Yeah, they come up this far, Paul. Dolphins go right up uh, 20 or 30 k's. Uh, apparently, there's a dead end in summer, but until then, sometimes they get caught out. You're welcome, Pinky. And look, people. That's a raven. These are all birds. There's no cats here. That. That's not a golden whistler. What's that? No, these are all birds that are nestling in for the night, mate. Usually, birds are the last thing you hear. You normally know when night's fallen, when you don't hear the birds anymore. Although magpies will come out if there's a full moon. Yeah, that's right, Lowy. And look, people, I've had a heap of hate mail since I've left Twitch, right? But, um, and without trying to sound arrogant, the funny thing is I've left, like, uh, the Twitch platform and, um, you know, we're doing numbers that a lot of them have been on the platform for three or four years aren't doing. So, you know, and we've just started on YouTube, so. Yeah, that was good fun, wasn't it? The only problem is when Lowy and I get together, we look like Terence Hill and Bud Spencer. If you want to have a good laugh, Google Terence Hill and Bud Spencer. That's me and Lowy in the past life. God, that was funny. All right, I think the fish have beaten us today, fam. That's exactly right, Lowy. <laughs> you just got to, I mean, I feel sorry for some people because you know they don't have much in life, you know, but anyway. I had one guy that was ripping me live on stream once. I went, you ever been partnered? Nah. I'm like, well, what are you ripping me for? And then pff, nothing after that, you know. Ooh, ooh. Oh, technician, you got to laugh, mate. Twitch isn't the be-all and end-all of anything, my friend. All right. What's that, Jacko? Oh, it's hilarious, Paul. You know, like... Okay, so we've had a few waves over there. When you refresh stream, the chat doesn't disappear. Good point. And look, crew, I'm, I'm, I don't want to sound arrogant or anything, but if I stream every day, we should be partnered by the end of September. That's the plan. You know, if I can get to do that. And look, I'd appreciate it, crew. You know, if you want to check out the other videos, we are starting to do longer, longer videos now. I did do a lot of the clips from Twitch because I wanted to sort of get the algorithm to recognize the channel. And um, when we did that and we started doing longer videos, we started to get better retention. So it's all good, you know. Right, they're getting ready to nestle in for the night. This is next five or 10 minutes, people. We'll give it 10 minutes from now. What's the time? All right, 5.45, we'll give it to 5.55. Uh, no, Lowy, I'm going to do that live on stream when we go down the beach. Oh, I've got a rod that I need to show everyone. I got asked a lot about the rods that we were using. Um, heaps of crows in there.
Well, we know there's one brim in there, fam. We'll give it a few more minutes, fam. I've got to make sure. I just remember that I was, it should be home by about quarter to six. But it's now 5.47, so the horse has bolted on that one. That's a Willy Wagtail over the other side of the river. That sounds like a wren. No, that's a whistler. I think that's a whistler. There's a heap of ravens over there. We've had some other birds over there. <laughs> yeah, I am, Gixa. Hopefully this week, if not this week, next week. Right, I fam. Old Faithful hasn't been too good recently. Get out of there. Come on. Wasn't even touched. Give that back to the fish. <sighs> what happened there? Come on. All right, we're on our way. Let me bring in the other one now. Sorry about that, fam. We ended up starting off our fishing on YouTube with a bit of a Jonah period. We're not catching anything. Well... They bit the t nah. It's alright, we'll come back and get you next time, fish. Oh. Alright, crew. Thank you, Tristan. People, thank you very, very much for helping me try and make the dream come true. 
Stay safe, stay well, be the best person you can be every day. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to upload some FIFA streams over the next few days. I'd really appreciate it if you just took your time out just to give them a watch so I can get the numbers up, eh? Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Thanks for your support. Much respect. You're the reason why I stream, okay? You motivate me, and I really appreciate the fact that you've given up your time to watching a balding, middle-aged fat bloke try and stream on YouTube. See ya.